What's up OKC Fitness fam and welcome to another episode of City Sweats. I'm your host Chris Foster and it's been a while since the last episode so I figured we'd start things off with a bang. Today we're at Lake Arcadia where we're going to combine paddle boarding and boot camp. That's right, I said it, paddle board and boot camp. I'm sure that brought you in, now let's go out to the water. What's up everybody, I'm here with Melissa Cox, owner of Subfit and we're at Lake Arcadia let's get this interview on the road. So, Melissa, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm an Okie. I've always lived in Oklahoma. I grew up as an athlete. Uh, I'm a full-time kinesiology professor at a local university. So, I live and breathe fitness and health, and I just love being outdoors. Um, I have a six-year-old daughter who I bring out and skate on the board. So, it is a family business for me. Definitely always better when it's family owned. <laughs> Second of all, give us a little background on your fitness. Like, when did that start? Did it start in college, high school? Um, Are you one of those people who were forced to play a sport at a young age like me? Or <laughs> let's just hear your story. Uh, I grew up with just uh, guys in the house that grew up outdoors and active, playing football outside, soccer outside. That went into high school where I did track, cross country, volleyball, basketball, pretty much every sport except for soccer. Um, went into college, still ran track, cross country, still run all the time. I do marathons, half marathons. Um, went to UCO for my bachelor's and master's in kinesiology and started personal training and kind of spreading my passion to other people and getting Oklahoma healthier. <laughs> so definitely been around the fitness world. So I gotta ask, as I mentioned earlier, this is Paddleboard Boot Camp. Yes. How did you figure out this idea? Well, at this time, I owned an outdoor fitness boot camp, and you know in Oklahoma, it gets super hot. So I was driving past Lake Overholster one day, and I saw the boards out there, people just doing the stand-up paddle board, and I saw a solution where I could combine our workouts and a way to cool off while we do them. So I just created it about five years ago. So tell me about the season. When does it start? How long is it? And how do people sign up? So typically, uh, when it's not during a pandemic, we run through May through September. Um, this year we start a little bit late, but hopefully we'll be on the water and on boards um, to early fall. So we still have a few months left. And if people want to sign up, the best way is to follow us on social media, okay. um, either through Subfit or Ride Energy Fitness. Right. And we post um, sign up links every week. I mentioned that it was a boot camp. For everyone that's not familiar with the different types of fitness, what is boot camp? Boot camp is, uh, the best way to describe it is functional fitness. We're not throwing up heavy weights like a CrossFit class. We're not um, stepping on steps like those kind of aerobic classes. So we translate what we do in everyday life, whether it's squats, running, um, picking up some heavy things like you do with your groceries, and just kind of making that your workout so you can take that to your everyday life and make your everyday better. Cool. So what is one thing that you can give to something that you won't get anywhere else, aside from the fact that you're doing a boot camp on a paddle board? That is a big part of it. So I don't, I mean, I love training. I've done it for 25 years. Um, but I would rather be outside more than anything else. And I just feel better. And you're kind of distracted that you're doing a workout when you're on the water. So the biggest thing is that you're immersed in nature. And Oklahoma has beautiful spots to do paddle boarding like we are here today. So that's a big aspect that people are kind of drawn to. Alrighty. So a big part of starting fitness is not hating it. And <laughs> So, for the person that wants to start their fitness journey but is a little scared to take that next step, what do you have to say to them? Um, I would say, first of all, just find your why. Why are you starting in the first place? If you have a strong why, so maybe it's getting healthier for your kids, maybe you just want to live longer for your family. Once you have your why kind of in your foundation, it's so easy to build upon that. And it's not really a journey until you take that first step. So, just like Nike that. says, you just got to do it. Let's do it. <laughs> finish off every episode with a little spotlight so 30 minutes 30 seconds minute whatever you want the people to know whether we missed it or you just feel like you want to say something the camera's all yours so if you're curious why you should do this workout first of all it's fun you're outside you're getting a great workout you're getting sun you're getting vitamin d but it is a great cross training workout for those who need to translate certain things to their sport specific skills it's a great core workout um, but also great aerobic workout if you're moving pretty quickly, great strength training like we're going to do today. And most of my clients will burn between 500 and 1,000 calories in an hour for the workout. So it's really low impact, so great for kind of rough joints if that applies to you. But also pretty high intensity and overall just a fun, effective workout on the water. This has been another amazing episode of City Sweats. As always, I'm your host, Chris Foster. Two takeaways from this. Make sure you put sunscreen on. 
Second thing, make sure you bring some water because you're going to need it. Guys, on a scale of 1 to 10, this workout is definitely a 15. So if your gym routine is getting boring, you want to switch the scenery up a little bit, get down to Lake Arcadia and put your fitness to the test from SUP Fit, Paddleboard, Boot Camp. It's the real deal. We'll see you next time.